thy seed, our offspring, our children, even great plagues, and of long continuance, and sore sicknesses, and of long consonants. He said, Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will our most high bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. He said, Ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the most high thy power. All in the spirit, we have to come back to him, brothers and sisters. The only way, the only way, is come back to him for he is worthy to be praised. Though we see what's promised to us. You've seen different ideas, giving you ideas of what works and what doesn't work. You just got to continue to follow the examples of what really works. works, you, you operate with what works. They're all, it's all here, we just got to follow it. That's all. Just, just be obedient and follow it. And you'll see that the most I will be pleased with it. Look at Baruch, the fourth chapter, in verse 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the Most High to wrath. You were delivered unto the enemies. You know? So it was sold to the nations, not for our destruction. But because we moved the most high to wrath. You were delivered unto the enemies. So we don't never say that our enemies became our friends. We were delivered to our enemies. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing under devils and not to the Most High. And it tells you in 1 Corinthians 10, 20 and 21. Book it right there, 1 Corinthians 10, 20. But I say, remember it said, we provoked him by sacrificing the devils. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice the devils. See? He told us in Jeremiah 10 and 2, learn not the way of the heathen. These other nations, they're Gentiles too. And they're called heathens. He said, learn not their ways. But what do we do? But I say that the thing which the Gentiles sacrifice or worship, they sacrifice or worship to devils and not to the Most High. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. He wants to have fellowship with devils. You cannot drink the cup of the Most High and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Most High's table and of the table of devils. 
See? Going back to Baruch 4 and 7. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the most high. Go to Psalms 106 and 35. Before we get there, go to look at Psalm 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations or the Gentiles are idols, but the Most High made the heavens. That's why I told you to be amazed at the size of heaven. But the Gentiles, the heathen are amazed at them. Now, Psalm 106, 35. This happened to us. But we're mingled among the heathen or the other nations, the Gentiles, and learn their works. See? Learn their works. He told us in Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus said the most high power, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jeremiah 10 and 2. Learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. See? That's why we see Psalm 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Most High made the heavens. Because the heathen are dismayed at the different things that are going on in heaven. We're not supposed to be dismayed at that. Most High made the heavens. Now, Psalms 106 and 35, this happened to us. This is what we did. But we're mingled among the heathen and learned their works. So a lot of you still mingle among the heathen. You learn the works of your enemies. And you try and bring it forth in the truth to make it make sense. It's not going to make sense. And they serve their idols. Remember, all the gods of the nations are idols. So you bring in your idols when you bring in your Christianity and your, your, your Islam, your Buddha, you're bringing all these different religions that are set up that really stem back to Semiramis and Nimrod, idols who worship Satan, still going back to them. You can't bring all that and say that you follow the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and his laws, touch commandments. Because that's all that's needed in the faith that we have in the Mashiach Yahweh Shah. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. See, a snare unto us. A trap. Unto this day. That's why I say prayerless time, dangerous times gonna be in these last days, because people are not following the most high. Yeah, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils. Remember, it says the Gentiles sacrificed to devils and not to the Most High. So our sons and daughters, we as sons and daughters, were given to devils that sacrificed the devils. <laughs> and shed innocent blood. Even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, sacrificing our sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Cain, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works, and went a whoring with their own inventions, going after these that spiritual fornication. Therefore was the wrath of the Most High kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. He hated us, the children of Israel. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. And they that hated them, not loved them, but hated them, ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, as you see. And they were brought into subjection under their hand. Going back to Baruch 4. And seven. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the most high. 
You have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up. And ye are grieved, Jerusalem. Ye are grieved, Jerusalem, that nurse you. And we had we had it going on. If anybody had it going on, we had it going on. We had it going on, we had it going on. And we grieved the land that nursed us. But when she saw the wrath of the Most High, not these enemies, but the wrath of the Most High coming upon you, the land, she said, hearken, listen. Listen. Oh, you that dwell about Zion, the Most High have brought upon me great mourning. Because the land didn't want to see us leave. If it's morning with us leave, leaving, then it was happy with us being there. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. The Most High brought this upon us. Listen, here it is. With joy, it's the lion said, with joy that I nourished them. Happy to nourish us but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Let no man rejoice over me. A widow, which the land says a widow, and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children am left desolate, because they departed from the law of the Most High. And you still hear these po chop eating preachers and fat back eating preachers and hog mouths eating preachers telling our people and teaching our people and have them repeat after them, we're not under the law, but we are under mercy and grace. And you a Gentile, you taught you a Gentile sacrificing unto the devils and not to the most high. Worshiping on the wrong day. And even if they are worshiping on the Sabbath, are they honoring the Sabbath as they should? Are they keeping all the laws of the Most High? Or do they slip and eat crab and oysters and lobsters and catfish and so forth? And pork? Hmm. But they're keeping the Sabbath. But are they really following the laws? You gotta ask yourself. Because they depart.